Welcome to Let's Play Dirt Track Racing Part 75, and our next race going to Paris Motor Speedway, so probably another dominating affair, I don't fucking know. Then again, the last time I was here, I barely squeaked out a victory in the feature, so I don't know. Qualified 10th, not surprised. So uh, let's go to the heat race, 15 laps. Off we go, 15 laps around Paris for our heat race, starting 13th. And green flag. down on the inside, immediately go underneath somebody, and gain three spots in one turn, alright, just the norm, you know, oh, oh fuck, this is not, well, once again, this also happened last time I was here, I managed to recover to a, what, I finished second in that heat, I think, so, uh, here we go again. It's like deja fucking vu. Bleh. Okay, well, whatever. I have 13 laps to uh, make my way back into the top four. So, no pressure. I'm fine. Considering I closed the gap to the leader by like half a second, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> and I'm not going to be fine if I keep doing that. So uh, let's not do that ever again. Just gain one, maybe two more positions here. Hello, Skip. Okay, ten to go. Those last two laps were pretty bad. There we go, that's how you get around that turn, okay. Into eleventh. And gains six tenths of a second in that lap. Beth F. Hey buddy, how you doing? Just gonna take this position from you and uh, go on my merry little fucking way. Making lots of contact. Uh, screwed that up. There goes the 34 car getting shuffled back. I just need to gain three more positions, alright. I'm only at the halfway point, so, yeah. Get wrecked, nerds. See, the 24 and 25 are still doing well. Up in the, uh, top five. And the 27. Time for me to ruin everything. Let's get up into the top five. There we go. And five laps to go in the heat race. So go for fourth and third and easily take the two spots. And dive underneath the 27 car. That was good. Almost hit perfect mark there. Just perfect lane. And now let's go for the heat victory, because that's the three of Ainsworth, so, uh... Let's see if I can gain two more points on him. 27 car is, uh, fighting back, though. Gonna go for a dive, maybe? Well, he went for a dive, but not a super dive, like I was expecting. And I ended up losing time at lap, okay. Excuse me, pardon me, holy shit. 
suddenly I'm driving like an ass. There's a super dive. Slides right up in front of me. Alright, well, I'm definitely not winning the heat race, so, uh... Ainsworth is going to gain a couple points on me. Hello. How are you today? Pardon me. See if I can at least fucking take second place here so I lose, only lose two points. There we go. Got a nice gap on him for this last turn. Alright, there we go. To the A feature. Lost two points to Ainsworth, but that's fine. Still nine ahead. So yeah, that was another shitty heat race, but whatever. And I think I scored the fastest lap, just barely. And 27 just got beat for uh, a main position. Just barely. So, here we go, to the A main. 25 laps. I'm going to repair... Fuck it, just repair all, everything. Here we go, 25 laps around Paris, starting in 9th. So, let's fucking do this. Oh, hey, look, 9 cars starting alongside me. I can't wait for him to get shoveled back into the bottom 4. Hello, how are you? Pardon me. Gonna take positions and shit. And he... Whoa. Okay, he's uh, trying to prove me wrong, apparently. Went for a super dive there. Somehow worked out in my favor, getting two positions. Oops. Just ramming cars. Let's damage my, my engine and shit, because why not? But... And he goes for another big dive, and he moves up into second, holy shit. The one time I say something like at the beginning of the race about him, and he fucking tries... He's trying his best to prove me wrong. Oh, and we have Zero Car making a super dive, okay. Well, down the fourth I go. Here, just give him a position so I can bring it back down to the bottom and pass him back. Alright, who's gonna dive and how much? That. Put me back up to third. If I can just get around Ainsworth here, take second from him, there we go. Suck me ween. Hello, Mr. Man. Haven't seen you in a while. Being all competitive and fighting for the lead and shit. He's gonna dive, and I royally fucked up that turn, okay. So yeah, I'm doing kind of terrible right now. You know, just a little bit. Doesn't help that that shit's happening around me. Okay, maybe now I can go for the lead. Let those two duke it out for third place. Is this gonna be another close finish like last time around here? with the same exact fucking cars. Different driver in the one car, because it's a different series, but still. It's 1 versus 91. For the victory at Paris. Ooh, that was bad. Okay, I only gained 7 hundredths of a second that lap. Kept a really nice line there through one and two. I guess one and two, I don't fucking know. Damn it! 
the skip. It fucked me over. No. That was that was going to be a really good lap, and then that happened. Fuck me booty. Oh no, now the asshole is trying to take second from me back. Again, something, I don't fucking know. my way back towards the front and have another crack at this, shall we? Okay, pulled far enough away from the two car. So I don't have to worry about his shit. Got the lead back under a second. Uh, that was a really good first turn. But this is not so good. Okay, I managed to salvage something out of that. I thought I was gonna... thought hitting that uh, inside curb was gonna really fuck me up, but it did not. So, the battle resumes. Back under half a second behind. Underneath them here, not quite. Ten to go. Well, I think that's my fastest lap so far in this race. Ah, had a big slide there. I'm gonna lose a little time. Suddenly he's going a little faster, trying to protect the lead. And uh, making a lot of mistakes, so let's stop that. That is not how you win races, by making mistakes. Okay, ran two consecutive 2002s and lost a couple tenths. Right back to the back of his car. Just had to regroup myself. Man, got a big skirmish going on up ahead. For fucking 13th on back. Six to go. Got him now. Just gotta slide up in front of him. There we go. Going for a dive, goes for a super dive. Gives me a chance to go right back underneath him without any effort. Okay, now I just have to hold him off for five laps. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Gonna have to be careful here. And not able to do anything with me there. Quickly closing on the back of this field, although the battle has uh, sorted itself out just slightly. They were like three wide and shit at one point. There we go. In 1968, to uh, just pull a little gap on them. Here to go at Paris. And my lead quickly goes up to a second. Pulled quite a ways away from the rest of the field during that uh, little fight there. And final lap. So he's pretty much guaranteed at least second place. Make it through this last turn. Try to do with relative ease. 
And there we go. Victory at Paris, yet again. By 1.61 seconds. Now, where did Ainsworth finish? So it's third, fourth, fifth. He finished fifth, okay. So I'm going to gain uh, those two points he got for me in the heat race, and then some. Yeah, victory laps, woo. And, oh, did not get the fastest lap. Hall and Chambers in the 9-0. Tied for best lap, okay. Yep, Ainsworth third. And nothing else really out of the ordinary. Four car had a an abysmal run, finishing in last place. Well then. Sucks for him. Does that see any repairs? Yes, indeed we do. Replace these two tires. And let's check the point standings now after nine races. So let's see, my lead is up to 17 over Ainsworth now. So I gained, what, eight points in that feature? Two, yep, yeah, sounds about right. Two points per position, so yay. Beams uh, in the one moves closer to second place with that uh, really good feature run for him. But yeah, there we go. 11 races to go in this season. Stay tuned for more DTR.